Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more RimWorld and Banshee's Pass. Hope we all have an exciting day today because we're going to make things more exciting. We're going to ramp up the difficulty. Remember how I talked a bit before about how I feel like uh, Randy Random has been a little bit too nice to me and we're not getting attacked, blah 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 blah. Well, I stand by that and there is a way to fix it. It's called going to the options menu, changing your storyteller, and increasing the difficulty. That said, because we're this late in the game... Uh, if he does send a raid our way, it will probably be massive. So, before I do that, what I'm going to do is start focusing a bit on building some defenses. Now, I'm fairly confident these deadfall traps will do exactly what they're supposed to. But we don't have any walls over here. We don't have any walls over here. Probably should build things like that out. Get some defenses going. Maybe set up some sandbags, some turrets. Anything that will help defend myself. Because right now, Albert and Snappy are the only people that are armed. Sarai is not a good shot, but she doesn't even have any kind of weapon. So, if we do get raided, that's probably going to spell death for us. So, we'll go ahead and gather up what steel we can, because we're going to need a lot of it. Build up some turrets, sandbags, so on. Mine that stuff up. Uh, and we actually could go here and deconstruct these steel walls that we did find already. That's just basically free steel. And as long as we don't open up the marble walls and open up the labyrinth of death and destruction, I think we'll be okay. But we are going to need a heck of a lot more wood, too, because we haven't been able to build any walls or anything, so... Let's, uh, let's chop down everything we can. Cactus, I'm not picky. Whatever you can chop, go ahead and do so. There's not a lot going on over here now, though. Where is there? Nope. We could deconstruct some of these limestone walls and stuff and try to get some more chunks. That would be an option for us. Granite, marble, limestone. Um, yeah, let's focus a bit on gathering the wood and stuff first, but I think that would be a good idea. Hmm... Yeah, we're just completely out of wood. We can't even finish the new workstation that we're trying to build up. I wanted to build a drug lab and stuff, but I think that's just going to have to wait for the time being. Hospital beds are done. Okay, nice. Allows colonists to construct the hospital beds. So what I can go ahead and do now is deconstruct this, and we'll want to build a hospital bed, which requires... Steel and medicine right now. Or we could build it out of silver or uranium. Can you imagine building a, a hospital bed out of uranium? That just seems un unethical. No, we could build that, though. That does require some of our good medicine. But right now, we have enough to build one, so I probably do want to prioritize that if we do get attacked and have to use medical stuff. That gets them back on their feet a heck of a lot faster, which is useful, obviously. Go ahead and place you here. Hopefully, you can build of at least normal quality. Uh, I would hate for anything less than that, because I don't want to waste the medicine, but... Good beds make people happier, make it easier for them to recover. And stuff. Oh, good. There's actually some more... Steel right here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab that. Butimus. Alright. Do we need a hunt? How are we doing on food? Pretty darn good. Got a lot of corn to go around. Yeah, I mostly just really need to worry about getting some of these defenses up. But without wood, that's a problem. We do have a fair chunk of marble, some limestone, stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and at least say we want to build some limestone walls... I don't know, kind of like this, maybe, and we go for another one of those uh, narrow passageways right here. And the only reason I'm not building this out of wood right now is because we don't have any wood. Otherwise, yeah, I would say that that's better, but let's go ahead and at least try to get some of that covered. We're just really open and not very well protected, unfortunately. Uh, I guess we can hunt the emu for some meat. It's in my base, just begging for death. Yeah, there's so many rocks and stuff that my opponents will be able to get some cover as well. Now, that's better than hiding behind trees, so we were at least able to get rid of all of those, but all these chunks could actually come back to bite me if we're not careful. I want to be the one who has the only cover, right? So I can shoot them all down as they come after me. Again, though, the problem here is only Albert and Snappy are armed. It's not very good. If we get attacked by, like, five or six people, we're just in trouble. Straight up. Huge trouble. It is getting kind of cold, by the way. 47 degrees Fahrenheit? That's really chilly. Maybe we should go ahead and place some heaters down. Now, unfortunately, that requires more steel and components. But I think we may have no choice. I could place a heater here and actually build some vents to keep this place a little bit warmer. And that wouldn't be a terrible idea. I'd also eventually be able to put in a, um... Air conditioner. Air condition the caves? Yeah. Let's go ahead and place it down there for now. And yeah, I will just build a vent here. Here. And here. Okay. Again, though, requires a heck of a lot of steel, and I don't have a heck of a lot of steel, which is a big problem. So we're hurting for resources. We haven't had a bulk trader come by that can sell me huge amounts of steel or wood lately. We use it all up pretty quick. 
We could melt some stuff down. That's certainly an option. But I don't know. Is it is it going to be better to melt things or better to mine things? That's, that's a good question, actually. I'm not especially sure what the answer would be at this point. Crap, being raided! The Turtles of Cruelty! Wow, they're landing. Did they shoot a rocket at me? I don't know, but here they come. Okay. They're coming probably from the angle I don't want them to come from. That's bad. Uh, okay, Albert, come here. Snappy, come here. And let's pray that this works, because we are under attack. Yep, they're coming from the wrong side. They're not going to go around through my deadfall traps. Of course they aren't. Why would they do something like that? That's ridiculous. All right, Enrique. Hopefully we can shoot you. Snipe him! Good shot! Oh my god, a gunshot right through the heart! He's also got a smoke leaf dependence. Luciferium as well, whatever that is. Huh. Whatever, okay. So he took a, he got a, we got a heart shot right imme immediately. That's amazing. He's immediately trying to run away. Come on, get another shot on him. Come on! Ah, darn it. Okay, are they not attacking? Because if not, then what I'm going to do is have these guys run up here and take some extra shots on them. They're not running away. I didn't get the message that they were fleeing. Okay, hang on. Now they're coming after me. Come on, get a shot. There we go. Good shot. Good shot. They haven't taken a single hit. And we've gotten, like, three of them mortally wounded by a sniper rifle. A gunshot through the stomach. Oh, that hurts. What about you? A gunshot through the left femur and the leg. Albert, your sniping skills are on point today. Sarai. Oh, crap. That's the wrong person. Snappy. You're the person who has a weapon. Albert. Uh, no. Sar Sar Sarai. Go this way. Go down. Go down. Albert. Duck. There we go. You don't get to take a shot on me today. Um, back up over here, Albert. Sarai, run. Snappy. Come up here. We are in a little trouble. Do you have like a... What do you have? Do you have grenades? Are those grenades? Do you both have Molotov cocktails? I think they got Molotov cocktails, and that's why they're not attacking me right now. There we go. Oh, Enrique is down for the counts. The Commissar. All right, nice. What did he have on you? Chinchilla fur cowboy hats. What, a poor chinchilla? You deserve to die. I'm just saying right now. He also has a load of smoke leaf joints. The equivalent of marijuana. Probably. I want you to just duck around this corner here. Perfect. Take a shot. Come on. All right. That's two down. Two left. Get up here. They actually haven't done anything to me. We have a knife and a club. Yeah, if we can keep a good distance away from them, we might be able to kite them for a while. Good shot. Uh-oh. Okay. Run, Albert. Go down. I'm going to need uh, Snappy to take a, take a shoot you in the leg. Oh, there we go. Okay, chase him. That's another one dead. So we might be able to kill the next one, actually. Fire. Where are you going? You're going the other way? You're going, you're going east? Okay. Shoot him in the leg. No one escapes. No turtles escape, I tell you. Hey, this one actually really well so far. There we go. Down for the count. All right, strip him before he dies so we don't get the uh, dead man's, I don't know, penalty of some sort. Unforbid the club, the silver, these Molotov cocktails. You never know, that could be useful. Strip the bodies. Perfect. Grab the smoke leaf. This is dangerous. Luciferium. Really dangerous stuff. A concoction of advanced glitter rolled mechanites that dramatically improve the body's function in all respects. It can even, over time, heal old, scarred over wounds or brain damage. However, without the moderate affecting of regular doses, the mechanites lose cohesion. So, this is incredibly, yeah, devil's bargain, incredibly addictive, is my understanding. We probably don't want that. Uh, but okay. Yeah, we probably really do not want to have any of that on hand. Hey, we survived a raid, everybody! That was pretty good. Collect a bit of their stuff, gather some wealth. Could be a lot worse. Need you guys to start building out the walls, if you don't mind. And to that extent, you can actually go ahead and deconstruct these if you want. Limestone chunks just right here, ready to go. That could be useful. Yeah, let's let's do exactly that. Good job, Snappy. You and your hubby, or sorry, fiancé, did a very good job. Why are you cleaning this area? It's not a home zone. I guess they decided because we're building walls here, this counts as home. No, that's not quite what I had in mind, but it's fine. Even so... All right, uh, what happened to the guy that was over here? Did he get back up and... He, get up, he got back up and ran away! 
You can tell by the blood trail he's leaving behind him. He got shot through the leg, the foot, the tibia, the torso. But he's gonna escape. Okay, well, again, tell the other turtles what happened here. <laughs> oh, that's fine. At least we got all of his stuff. So, that could have been a heck of a lot worse. Yeah, as far as raids go, that was, um... That was pretty darn good. We need to get some more graves going, though. We have three more people. Shallow graves, though. No one shall mourn them. Place one here, here, and here, I guess. That'll be fine. Dig those. Oh, let's see. Don't want those forbidden. Fox is just laying out here. You know, dead bodies on the horizon and staring at the clouds. She's a very contemplative person. Not a very good situational awareness, though. That's fine, though. Snappy, you're doing a great job. I like what you're doing. Keep it up. Keep it up. Wish you guys would, you know, build things a little faster, though. I don't feel like limestone walls are supposed to be that difficult. They're really upset seeing all these bodies. We're getting raided again! The killer trouts are coming for another run! What? We didn't even increase the difficulty! Alright, Randy Random has uh, instead decided that now is the time. I called him out, and he's like, Oh, you think so? Okay. So, yeah, this is a problem. Um, they're going north, though, which means they will run through my traps, which is good-ish. Draft? Snappy, can you get over... We need to kill them as they come around the corner, and she's a close-range character. Albert comes here, I guess. Let's get them in position, though. If I could get them to attack the Boom Rats, that would be nice. Hey, Boom Rats! Perfect. Uh, how do we sick them? No, wait, for real, though. How do I sick them? Boom Rat Homeboy. Release. But for real, though, do I have to train you to, to follow or something? Health, social. I'm not actually sure what to do with the rat. I think I had to train it to follow while drafted and then release it to attack. That's probably what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so the boom rats are not going to be much help, but that's probably okay. Now, these guys actually do have some guns, which is a problem. You have grenades. You've got to be a high priority. Are you sapping? Oh, they're not... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. They're not, they're not coming through the traps. They're going to sap through my base. We need to take some shots at them before they do that. Oh, wait, here come the rats. Oh, homeboy, sick him. Okay, snappy. Shoot this guy. Uh, will the rats release on him? This is the big question. Uh-oh, they both got hit. Okay, they don't have any cover, which is a problem. Albert, go here. Snappy, go here. Rats, kill, please. Rats, I need you to kill. Snappy is useless right now. Homeboy. Homeboy's doing nothing. How do I tell them to release? Release animals! Go forth, my rid rats! There we go! Oh, you guys are in for it now! You're in for it now! You're in for it now! Shoot my rats! Watch what happens! You all explode! Oh, this is perfect. Come on! No, my rats passed out! They got down, but they didn't blow- Oh, there we go! They blew up! Okay, homeboy died, which means Albert's gonna be very upset. But in the meantime, we took a couple of them down. Headshot on Kirk! Okay, they are fleeing. We survived another shot. Snappy's been injured, though. Um, keep shooting at them while they run. Whoa! Big grenade hit. Is it a smoke grenade? Doesn't seem to have done much. Take as many down as you can. Albert, come over here. Don't shoot Snappy, please. Good. There we go. We got another one. Nice. Undraft, undraft. Strip. Strip. The fire is going to take care of the rest. Unforbid the frag grenades. Got a marble club, some go juice. Lots of drugs lately. Um, you need to get stripped. Homeboy. Oh, no. We lost one of our rats. Can we save this one? That's a good question. Fox. Rescue boom rat one. Those were helpful. Although I'm concerned that it's going to die on the way. And if it does, it explodes and kills Fox. So that would be a problem, but let's see what happens. That fire actually looks a little dangerous. Uh, Albert? Albert, rescue your boom rat. It's on fire right now. Your boom, rat is, your boom rat is on fire. Your boom rat is on fire, dude. Save it. Save it. Get it out of the fire. Okay. Made some progress. 
Boom rat, are you dead? Can I see your health, please? Not when you're being rescued, apparently. Oh god, we're ticking- we're, we're carrying around a ticking time bomb. I'm a little scared for poor Albert right now, but hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, right. We only had one medical bed. We did manage to build the hospital bed, though, so that is helpful. I have just enough medicine to build another. But not a lot of steel. In fact, I think we might be out of steel entirely. But let's give it a shot. Not enough stored. Yeah. That's a problem. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and set this as medical. So, can we heal the boom rat in shock due to pain? Head has been burned. It's in extreme pain. Death in 8.8 .8 hours. Fox, no, no, no. Wake up. Can you... Yes, 10 to the boom rat. I do not want exploding next to Banshee. Can you imagine how bad that would be? My warg wakes up to a fresh explosion, explosion next to its nose. Terrible idea. Okay. There we go. We've bandaged it up. Okay. The front left paw has burned off. Yeek. Boom rat is no longer incapable of walking, even though it does have no paw. All right. Well, uh, in theory, it's not going to die now. It's just a very, very unhappy little rat. But that's okay. We survived another raid, everybody. I mean, it's proven a little difficult thus far, but we're getting there. We're freaking getting there. Yeah, see, they were doing exactly what I was afraid of. They started sapping their way through here rather than go around my uh, my traps. Which is clever. That's exactly what you probably should be doing. Oh, God, that lightning strike was close. It's probably exactly what you want them to do, right? The AI is definitely smarter, but now I have to be worried about my underground base. How'd they even know it was here? Oh, no. Boom Rat is dead and Albert is sad. How sad are you? Bonded animal homeboy died. Homeboy gave his life for the home front, okay? Homeboy, homeboy was the hero of this story. If he had not sacrificed himself, I think we all would have died. I'm just saying is all. Probably would not have worked out well. I actually messed up these graves. Oh, well, that's going to bother me, but it's not really a problem per se. Uh, okay. So, Snappy, how you looking? You have not been tended to. Fox, I know you're tired and all, but I need you to wake up. These people are dying here. You don't understand. F Fox, wake up. Oh, screw it. Wake up. Treat Snappy and Albert. Okay? What do we need to do here? Um, there we go. We managed to grab the rest of the medicine before Fox could use it up. So we'll have to use the um, other medicine now, but there we go. Starvation. People need to tend to you guys, like ASAP. Okay, you've apparently been healed. No, you're just starving to death. Could you guys please heal Albert Sarai? No, don't clean blood. You can't... Not assigned a doctor. Fox, feed Albert. Don't feed yourself, you selfish little jerk. He's starving right now. He took some gunshots. Oh, now you're eating your meal. Whatever he didn't eat, she's eating the leftovers. You know, that comes across as somewhat desperate. I'm just saying. This is no longer a medical bed. Albert, go to the hospital bed. There we go. I'm really glad that I built this wing, because now we're actually making good use of it. <laughs> Alright, Fox should be able to help them at this point. Uh, I say should. It's not doing a great job of it. How's the rat looking? Pretty good. Just a couple bruises and burns, nothing it can't reco uh, recover from. Its rear right leg was destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, that's not, not great now, is it? Looks like everybody has been fully healed, though, so we will recover quite nicely. Well, thank God. Now, if only I had been able to get my defenses going a little bit sooner. Did you just smoke his joints? You totally did, didn't you? Huh. Well, I mean, I hope you had fun. It's the first thing he does when he gets back from a gunfight. Uh, he just smokes a little bit of pot. But hey, that's, that's okay. It's okay with me. Well, now what do we do? Finish up these walls, that's what we do. We've got a little bit more limestone going on over here, but not much. We have a bit of marble and slate. Maybe we can build some marble walls like this. Something like this will probably be okay. We do need a heck of a lot more steel, though. Heck of a lot more. All right, we'll mine all this out, hopefully. Uh, and what we need to do is set down the sandbags. Now, one thing I'll go ahead and point out real quick before we end this video. I did notice in security 
There's something here called a shield. You can make it out of silver, steel, uranium, whatever the heck else. It says that it's excellent cover from gunfire, as opposed to the sandbags, which say they're just cover from gunfire. Here's the thing. I don't think these are actually any better, because if you look at it, sandbags are 65% cover effectiveness. Shields are 60. So it's misleading. It says that it's excellent cover, but it costs the same, and it's 5% less effective, even though it's made of the same material and costs the exact same stuff. Does that make a lot of sense to anybody else? Because it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But hey, that's what the game has decided to do. It's probably from a mod. I'm, I'm honestly not too sure, but... There we go, Snappy. You build out that wall. We're gonna build one heck of a wall. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna protect us all. We're gonna build some sandbags and stuff like that, and then maybe I'll consider ramping up the difficulty. Although I am reconsidering that now, because we did just get raided twice in one video. So Randy Random has decided to ramp things up for me already. Not, uh, not too sure if we need to make things more difficult, but we'll consider it. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, rip homeboy, and I will see you guys next time. Crap, fire.